July and this is the Tea Cozy Folk Vlog with me Susie Cowper and it is July but if you look outside it looks like autumn today where I am. I've got my sunnies though on my head so I'm optimistic but I don't think they're going to be in use other than holding my hair off my face. Anyway I've got a lot of lovely things to show you and I'm going to start off with my Herring Girls Tea Cozies. Now there's a lady on Shetland who asked me to design these, they're based on the herring girls of Shetland who used to go and gut the fish and um, this is a little herring girl with a basket of fish and a little fish in her hand but around the back because they're wearing aprons, big thick aprons to keep their clothes clean, keep their dress, got a little dress on underneath and I love their little wisps of hair, I think they look so cute and they've got a little cat each. I'll show you the other one now. So she's the one with the basket. And look, this is the one with the barrel. Now she's the packer. So she's putting all the fish into the barrel. She's salting them to keep them fresh so she can send them to market. But um, she's the same. She's got the cat and the apron's the same at the back and the little headscarf and the wisps of hair. So they're both on the same pattern. So if you buy the pattern, you'll get both the designs so you can either make the one with a barrel or the one with a basket or you could make both because they do look very sweet together. Have you seen in Simply Knitting there's an octopus tea cosy designed by tea cosy folk? You need to go and see him. He's gorgeous. He's so cute and he's got eight tentacles all doing different things. He's a really is a mammoth knitting project but it looks amazing and he's got little cat eyes for his eyes, you know, the plastic safety eyes, they're 18 millimetre. I think I say in the pattern, the best place to buy them from, but I'll put a link down below anyway, because there's a great shop and he's not too pricey and you can get your eyes there. And the eyes just make it. There's something quite creepy and sinister about him, but he's gorgeous. You need to see him. So if you can't get the magazine, what I'll do is, I'll put a little video on next, so you can see the little octopus. This is my sock update. Now, if you've watched before, you'll know I'm knitting Christmas socks for my son. Look, they're enormous, woo, but I've got them finished, woo. <laughs> I love them, I love the chevrons. He's really into Formula One, so he's gonna love the chevrons going round. And the yarn is Stylecraft, heads over heel, and I think it is the Amazon colorway. So, but it's really lovely, isn't it? And there was a bit of yarn left over. So I started knitting a couple of ankle warmers and I think ankle warmers are going to make a comeback, you know, with this cost of living crisis because everyone's going to need to keep warm. But I um, broke my ankle a couple of years ago and now when my ankle gets cold, it's quite painful. So I thought if I make ankle warmers, I'll look like I'm styling, but actually I'm keeping my old bones warm. And I think they also look cute, don't they? Popping out of boots, you know, just at the top on the calf there but the trouble was because the socks were so enormous because he's got size 12 feet look i was playing the arm chicken and i lost so i perhaps wear these when it's not best and then try again with some of the sock yarn however i have started another pair of christmas socks look at this now this is different yarn but look isn't it lovely look i've gone around the heel there and i'm just starting on the foot this is the first one of two, but it's quite nice, isn't it? And look, actually, when you look at the yarn, I don't, you can't tell how it's gonna look, can you? And I don't know if that does look particularly pretty. It's not got all of my favorite colors in, but <laughs> when you knit it up, it looks good. I think the other thing is, is when I'm choosing wool for other people, they probably haven't got my favorite colors in because not everybody's got the same favorite colors as me is unfortunate because I'm going to end up with a pair of ankle warmers like this but it, it's nice and it's nice yarn actually this is different this is signet yarns and it's um truly wool rich it has got quite a high wool content 75 percent so um yes yeah, so they'll be nice and warm won't they quite hard wearing 
so yeah so that's what i'm wearing at the minute um i'm not wearing it i'm knitting it at the minute and <laughs> sorry i'm just you know you think of woolly things and you get a bit confused um anyway what i thought was i'll put um a link down below of where i got my yarn because then you can go and get some if you really like it too but there it is it's quite nice though isn't it i like the flowery bits along the edge they're a bit like castellation aren't they or nice good i'm going to be starting a new knitting project i'm going to be making a shetland pony tea cozy and this is part of the shetland collection the, the lady in shetland has asked me if i would do six all together and this is part of that so it's going to be a little shetland pony it's going to be really cute and because um teapots around aren't they and shetland ponies are fat aren't they they're cute but fat with really long hair so that'd be really nice so i'm going to start that in the next day or two i'm not started yet but i've got the wool ready this is the latest design it's um based on you know those french bird cages that are all white painted white and then people like to use them for floral displays well, I've got a white bird cage and I've got a little clematis growing through it. You know, and they've got the little wispy bits around the centre and, and the six petals on the flower and, and the iconic leaves that they have on the tips. This tea cosy knitting pattern will be available to buy on the website on the 28th of July. It's lovely, isn't it? It's been test knitted, so it all works. So, but it's really cute, it's pretty, it feels summery, it's really nice. So that's that, but also next Thursday, the Old Lang Syne Tea Cozy Knitting Pattern will be available from Tea Cozy Folk. It was first in Simply Knitting in January, you might remember, but it'll be available, well it might not be in January, it might be in December, so that you could knit it for January, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's Old Lang Syne, it's for um, New Year's, Eve, New Year's Day, but also it's great for Robert's Burns night, isn't it? You know, end of July, 24th, not of July, 24th of January, what am I thinking? So um, yeah, so look out for that, that's next Thursday, that'll be available from the website. Just for fun, I'm going to crochet myself a jumper. I've got friends coming to stay in October, so I thought <laughs> I better get a head start and start soon. So I've got this yarn, Starcraft Special 4-ply. And the colour on this one is raspberry. And I thought it would be really nice to um, crochet a jumper with. I'm just going to do trebles really and just go round and round and round. But um, I thought if I did 4-ply, I'd feel less like I was wearing a blanket. Because I think with double knitting, it'd be quite thick and chunky. And I wouldn't like that. So um, yeah, so I'm making a little four ply jumper. No pattern, I just thought I'd wing it and see how it looks. And I want to get it done for the end of October for when my friends come. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'll keep you posted. Go. Well, that's all the news for July. The Herring Girls knitting pattern is already available on teacozyfolk.co.uk. And next week, the Old Lang Syne Tea Cozy will be available. I don't know if you remember it, it's got four little Scottish blokes in kilts dancing around the teapot. It's cute, look out for it, you'll like it. And um, then the French bird cage with clematis growing around it will be available from the 28th of July. So that's what's happening in July. And I'll see you all again in August. And I hope we've got some more sunshine because it's not looking good at the minute, is it? Not here. You might have sunshine, but I've not. Anyway, we'll see you in August. Bye.